It's 98.7 KISS FM, and good evening to you. We have company dropping by. Hey, this has been a fun-filled week for me. Uh, I love it when company comes by, and I think you appreciate it as well. This gentleman is no stranger to your eye, because if you uh, were a fan of the hit series, The Wire, truly you have seen his face. Now, you may not know his real name. You may know him by his character name. The character name was Marlo. Right. And he was a kingpin, for sure. But his real name is Jamie Hector, and it is a pleasure to have you uh, inside of Kissing at the Dark tonight. I, I understand you grew up in my borough. Mm -hmm. I understand that uh, you listen to Kissing at the Dark from time to time, too. Right? The best borough. Yeah, it is the best borough. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And definitely Kissing at the Dark, yeah, you know. That's what's up, man. And you're a young cat, so I appreciate you know you, uh, you know, listening to an old dude like me. Oh, no, no, you're not an old brother. <laughs> For those that don't know. <laughs> For those who don't know, right? Hey, man, so life is treating you real well. I know you're staying extremely active uh, right even though life has has finished on the wire mm -hmm. uh which i really don't know why and and maybe you can let me know if it's a secret if they're going to come back but that didn't stop you uh, from continuing your journey oh no no it didn't stop me at all it's um the wire finished season five only because it was written for five seasons Got it. and it was time to move on from that point so Moved on to another network and then from that point started doing films and what season did you actually come in uh, season three so you had a nice little run. Oh yeah. And it was, you know, it was fun, exciting. I learned a lot, gave a lot. Jamie, I, I had the honors of uh, visiting the set. Yeah. And it was too real. It was surreal. <laughs> like the, the prison was surreal. And I've never been to prison before, so. Right. But it was, you guys, I mean, the, the creativeness behind it was, uh, was of course, ideal. And it was right at the top of this game. Thank you. Uh, and man, you, you do a lot of, uh, character study of, uh, of roles. I oh yeah, I mean, I, I guess as most actors would do, we right. just have fun with it and just get to know the character as most as possible, as best. So we're going to find out what kind of research you really did on that. We have Jimmy Hector <laughs> with us tonight, yes. inside of Kissing Up the Dark. Let's slip into another one of your favorite slow jams tonight by request. This is going out to Renee and bed -Stein. Thank you, baby, for turning us on and stay close to us. This is 98.7 KISS FM. Give me the best ear candy money can't buy. This is Kissing After Dark. Jamie Hector, actor Jamie Hector, visiting us tonight inside of Kissing After Dark. Uh, I'm assuming you're making some rounds seriously this week, and you're out about stronger than usual this week because of the Urban Film Fest. Right, right, Urban Film Fest. Tell everybody about it, because it really is a great festival. It's been happening here in New York for quite some time. And uh, why should people support it, and why are you behind it? So well, sure. I'm behind it first and foremost because I love to see films that I probably won't get a chance to see elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Urban World Film Festival supports that. And it's the 14th year for the Urban World Film Festival and it's presented by BET Networks. And basically I have a film in there called Night Catches Us. Mm -hmm. Starring myself, Wendell Pierce, Anthony Mackey, Kerry Washington, and a, and a new young boy named Amari, a gifted kid, directed by Italian Hamilton. And it, um, tonight's the premiere night of it. So I'm supporting that. The Urban World Film Festival for that cause. We spoke to Carrie uh, the other night, and uh, she was uh, ranting and raving about the, the same production. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a great movie. Uh, oh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a post Black Panther film, 1970. And you play a Black, Black Panther. Oh, yeah. yeah. Black Panther by the name of Do Right. Do okay. Right Miller. Okay, all right. <laughs> Slick Cat. You know, and basically, um, it's really what happens to a brother when he comes back home from. War. It's like him coming back home, home from war. I love the character of Anthony Mackie, and um, it's a love story. But also, it's basically him trying to readjust back into the life. Now, because he has experienced war and the hardships of what everything war has to deal with, um, does well, he have well, a different outlook on America? A different outlook on on his purpose, on his role? Well, it's the war of actually being a Black Panther. Got it. Not literal war, but it's basically him living the life and constantly being watched and. Um, trying to make it right for his people, but actually having to leave and being betrayed. So now it's like him coming back into this life and how to readjust. Like, you know, so many um, war veterans, they come back with postpartum, post-traumatic stress disorder, and they just don't know how to handle. And it's the same situation for him. What kind of uh, research, how did you uh, research this role? Oh, it was fun, you know. I got a chance, because you know in Brooklyn. <laughs> I know about Brooklyn, yes sir. You know, a lot of brothers came up in the game, Black Panthers. And I got a chance to sit down with a couple of brothers out there that I used to roll with Sonny Carson. Mm. And um, also just just documentaries on Fred, as well as, you know, there's one good book called Cointel Pro. Yes, sir. You know, you get a chance to sit down and digest that information. So you have to put a lot in your memory bank. 
I mean, you know, it's just it's just fun because you get a chance to express and give back, and you just want to do it right. You don't want to come. This is very true. Wrong. You know, I I respect your grind, and we'll come back and talk about your grind because um, Thank you. I applaud of how you kind of got started in the game. Yes. You know, so Jamie Hector is his name. We'll come back and chop it up with him a little bit more inside of Kissing Up the Dark. But of course, more of the best of what you want, baby. So keep it locked and keep it close. Here's another one for you. Let's go back and reminisce with a little Eric Benet. Uh, pretty wings, pretty legs, chocolate legs. It's all wrapped up in the same basket, baby. This is 98.7 Kiss FM. It's 98.7 Kiss. Welcome inside of Kissing After Dark. I am Lenny Green. It is nice to be in your company, and it's nice to be in the company of homies from Brooklyn, because uh, that's where I'm from, and brother Jamie Hector is from uh, Brooklyn as well, man. And uh, you born and raised, right? Born and raised. Brooklyn East Flatbush, Crown Heights. Okay. Right. You, you, you and I cross <laughs> the same paths at different times. It's all Crown Heights, East New York, uh, Bed-Stuy, yes, Genasi. So, Definitely, man. I, I understand the streets of, of BK oh, in, yeah. in a big way. That one uh, is good, y'all. Uh, <laughs> you know, cats like JC, Biggie Small, Jamie Hector. You better tell somebody, because <laughs> they don't know. Lenny Green. Hey, uh, spoke about briefly before we got back into the music, your grind. Right. Uh, when you started out, man, you know, something that you did that a lot of cats really don't do in, in this business and in a lot of industries. They, they don't hit the streets, you know. Everybody, of course, wants the silver lining, wants the thing the perfect way. You didn't see it as uh, a perfect opportunity actually coming through your door, so you kind of created a perfect opportunity for yourself. And I understand you dropped your reel off and you got to know some people <laughs> who were some independent filmmakers, and you just kind of put your name out there in a great way, and right. someone actually bit, and mm -hmm. it was it was a, it was a big thing for you. Right, right, you know, sure, it was basically, um, my grind started in a theater company called Tomorrow's Future Theater Company. That's where I began. And then you understand the hustle yes. between the business as well as your business and taking and show business. Yeah. Taking care of it in the business area and actually staying on the streets and making it happen. So I was part of a short film called Five Deep Breaths, directed by Seath Man, which is doing extremely well now. And then um, my management went over and she just you know, we did it the Brooklyn way. <laughs> you know, before security gets Chicken, security yeah. at the door and everything, exactly. we can't go in in the studio, yeah, et cetera. Real quick. She went in and basically handed the um, material to the casting director, Alexa Fogel. She took a look at it, and it was happening from both angles, and before you know it, you bit. The producers That's saw it, they enjoyed it. Everybody saw the film, they enjoyed it, and then it was a go from that point. You know, and that should be a great inspiration because you serve as a mentor, and I know you have an exactly. organization called Moving Mountains. Yes. And it's something I really, I'm going to tell you right now, I want to get involved in. Okay. Uh, because uh, I think uh, the, the children today definitely need positive mentors, and they need positive male mentors as well. That's right. really, really important because Very fathers are missing out of a lot of families. I, you know, I, I come from a single parent family, so I understand. So I want to definitely get down with uh, your Thank course. You. But tell us a little bit about Moving Mountains. Moving Mountains is a non-profit organization I started a year ago. Basically, I had access. I have access, so I just wanted to introduce it to these young kids. They're talented, they're gifted, and I want to uh, give them the opportunities that I never had, but now I do have, you know? And at the same time, build character. So it's like, they're talented, you get them through the pipelines that I went through, have them develop their talents, their skills, their abilities, and at the same time, build character and push them forward. So this is what we're doing for them and we have a play at the Brooklyn Museum. What? Um, the last Friday of every month. Oh, great. You know, it's Moving Mountains. You go to movingmountainsnyc.org and you can get that information. And um, it's a wonderful play called Just Another Day. No, A, a New Day, excuse me, directed by myself. Yeah, well, well, we'll definitely check into that. Let's check into another song real quick while we got uh, Jamie Hector in the building with us. This is Kissing Up the Dark, baby. Don't go nowhere. We'll wrap it up with him in a moment. 98.7 KISS, Kissing After Dark Company is over tonight and we are locked into you. And I thank you for turning us on. Our company tonight, you he's no stranger to your eye. Uh, you may have seen him in The Wire, which is the popular role that he played for three years as Marlo. Uh, but I understand you were in Spike Lee's Clockers. <laughs> Uh, right? Right. Uh, uh, you were a lot younger then, brother. Very <laughs> he, He's been seen in New York Undercover and, and Oz and a host of other things. So you have been staying busy and God has been good to you. Yes, he has. In a great way. And uh, just want to uh, recap and let everybody know about the Urban Film Fest. Uh, you have a movie that you're in with Kerry Washington and a host of other wonderful actors. Yes. It's called Night Catches. Night Catches Us. Night, night Catches Us. And it often, often does. 
uh, and it when, where is it going to be seen that, beyond the Urban Film Fest showing it? Uh, well, it week? actually comes out in um, December third. Okay. Um, picked up by Magnolia Films, and it, tonight it's going to be at the AMC 34th Street Theater in Manhattan. The Lowe's. Lowe's. Right. Right. And um, if you don't catch it tonight, you can definitely catch it when it comes out in theaters. And December 3rd. December 3rd. That's a good look. Uh, night catches us, and you know the night has often caught you in some interesting <laughs> situations. And I don't think I could hope is that Kissing Up the Dark was on the radio, but it caught you, though, that's for sure. But man, I thank you, man. Any parting words you'd like to uh, let everybody know about before we let you go? Well, you know, um, enjoy the film festival. Come out and um, have a great time. You know, see some films. Support your black filmmakers. Very, very important. They need it. For sure. Jamie Hector is his name. Remember the name? And then I'm sure you'll see the face often. Yes. Appreciate you coming by tonight. Oh, man. This That's is 98.7 KISS FM.